and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my The Quarry blind playthrough. And we are currently playing as Caitlyn. We got a look into the past in the previous episode. And we found out that the curse started six years ago when it seems like the Hackett's family torched the Harem Scarum sideshow and uh, don't know if it was Silas the dog boy who <laughs> bit one of them or if it was uh, just something got out some type of spirit or something when because there was a corpse in uh, that flashback so maybe the curse broke free and has been stalking the Hackett's ever since but now we're trying to find a strategic position to settle down for war, more or less, or for combat at least. And not really sure how I how I get in position. I did get an option to do so. And I can't remember where it was. <laughs> How we explored over here. Because that is something I think is a bit of a flaw in this game actually. Because I think sometimes you end up in positions where you have no idea where... Uh, there we go where you're supposed to go next because the game really lacks in hinting at what it wants you to do because I had the same problem in the junkyard uh huh there's another clue or something jeez you see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar clue found camp letter signed by Chris Hackett uh Show text. Hack it, Bobby N. Three four nine eight one zero two four. A positive, Catholic. So where am I supposed to go? Yeah, as I said, yeah, I had the same problem in the junkyard, and then I finally stumbled across. Uh, the solution by pure dumb luck after exhausting every type of way I could be wrong I finally found the correct one and it is so dark, it's so hard to see anything. I think this would be a great position to be in. But the game doesn't agree because it doesn't let me camp down here. Let's head downstairs once again. And I'm sorry, I think this is just as tedious as you may do, dear viewer. If they at least would give you the option to run. Can't go anywhere on that side. Oh, there's another room I haven't been in.
She does have a flashlight. What the heck is this? A bunny. I'm a happy, happy bunny. <laughs> is that the stuffed toy that Abby took in the cabin? Thing might be. <sighs> Come on. This is, I would say, poor game design. At least they could have given you, like, the option to run. Because I'm holding down L1 to make sure that Caitlyn is walking fast. But this lady certainly isn't in a rush. That is a dead end. My God. Can't go in a fireplace. Is there something more I'm supposed to find? Because she is looking at things. And in games that are better designed than this, that is usually a hint as to where you're supposed to go. But this is just seems like it's programmed in to have, have her seem like she's checking out her surroundings. Okay, prepare for attack. Showtime, motherfuckers. Damn right. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. <laughs> Great way to summarize it, Jacob. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <laughs> yeah, all this shit over a rotary arm. And Jacob hoping to get laid one more time before summer is over. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, honey, just stay cool. Everything's gonna be okay. Just breathe. What the shit? What the? Whoa, shoot it, <laughs> shoot it. Oh. 
Run or wait? I'm gonna wait. Because if I run, the werewolf will immediately know where I am. Hello, Ugo. Eat lead. Eat silver. We clipped him a bit. Caitlyn is definitely a badass. She is by far my favorite character in this. I managed to keep Caitlyn alive through this entire game, even though no matter how many people die, I will still consider it a success. Because <laughs> Caitlyn is definitely a badass, Laura is also a badass. Run or hide? Uh, I'll hide. That's usually what works. And also you can't outrun that thing. <laughs> It's odd for being a werewolf. He seems to have real shitty spatial awareness. Investigate. Load it and kill it. <laughs> Fuck you to hell. What? How? I am so sorry. Crap. 
Inquisitive, what exactly happened six years ago? Accusing, how did you do it? Let's be inquisitive. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. <laughs> happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh it kind of does actually we need to know what we're up against at least what we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found no matter what we did every full moon we were out there looking every single one now the son of a bitch is finally here so what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good I think I just realized so know what mistake I did. Did I I'm fire too soon? Because I remember when they had a little firearms lesson that they talked about the spread of buckshot. Grab the gun, grab the steering wheel. Let's grab the wheel. We may all die. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Just get down. <laughs> that was probably my mistake that I fired Go. too early. I'm so sorry, Caitlin. He can't have just disappeared. You gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? <laughs> okay? Really, bro? Been better, but yeah. Over here, got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yes. Decisive. Let's fucking do it. Bitter, this isn't the end. Decisive. Let's fucking do this. Damn right. Go team. And I'm going to end this episode right here. But I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. So until next time. This is the Wolfman signing off.